up, you Twitch with a franchise guy, country with a brand new episode of NHL 20. Be a pro featuring your boy Chance Bishop. We're in, we're moving on from Columbus. Yeah. It ended really poorly, actually. We didn't even make the playoffs, so I was right. I guess the last episode that we weren't going to make the playoffs, because I couldn't remember exactly, but we're not making the playoffs. But you've made us very proud. I just think um, short list of the James Norris trophy. Um, thanks, Blue Jackets owner. Uh, the Avs. Way to go, Avs. Uh, Avs and the Syracuse Crunch are uh, up there. Vancouver wins uh, the thing. The, uh, whatchamacallits, the, uh, the draft lottery. Retirement? Who retired? Well, it doesn't say. Right, it doesn't matter. I don't really care who retired. It doesn't matter. No one cares about that stuff right there. Alright, let's simulate up to the day. Yeah, I think Chance Bishop, he's like 30 now, isn't he? Or he's... A little over 30. Alright, uh, hey, I have some contract information uh, for you to consider. My phone wasn't quite ringing as much as I expect. I mean, it's weird. Alright, we got the Blue Jackets. We got two years. 13 to 60, one way. For the Wild, uh, both teams finished below 500. Wild, we're finishing much more below 500. Uh, the question is, has the Minnesota Wild um, ever won a Stanley Cup? That is the question I want to figure out. I mean, Minnesota's used to signing high-end free agents and just blowing up their entire salary cap. But I don't think any are as... Uh, are as good as Chance Bishop, though. I mean, they've been in the NHL from since 2000. Uh, let's take a look. Do you have a Stanley? Stanley Cup. No, it does not look like they have a Stanley Cup. Victory. Um, <laughs> Minnesota never since its inception of the franchise in 2001. Yeah, the Blue Jackets. Blue Jackets haven't won either. Same with Winnipeg. Winnipeg hasn't won either. Or Dallas. Dallas hasn't won either. I mean, they've been in the Stanley Cup one time. Just never won anything. All right, so that, that's uh, that's how that is. So, we're going to Minnesota. Minnesota. So, right now I remember the Minnesota Wild. Any pop-ups for us? There we go. Welcome to the new team. I am happy to say to come to join the Minnesota Wild. Welcome to our family. We have big things planned for you, and we hope you fit out well here. Well, that's pretty awesome. Thanks for having us join Minnesota. Here we are, guys, in the middle of... Preseason taking on uh, the Dallas Stars. Actually, it's just the first preseason game, frankly. But, I mean, we moved on to Minnesota. Why did we move on to Minnesota, you gotta think? Well, I don't know. I didn't like my time in Columbus. I mean, we got Gordon Clark over here, who not looking too hot, but. I mean, hey, we'll take a look at the team after this game. So, let's start get some game plan these episodes before. And then we'll take a look at the team as a whole after this episode. And we'll go on from there. But I think this team is no longer has Parisi or or Suter on it. I, I know for a fact it's not Parisi or Suter on it. Uh, because Zach Parisi retired in our New York Rangers franchise mode. And we are more ahead in, in this series than we are in the franchise mode. There we go. Chance Bishop. Absolutely just loving it right there. Nice goal. Nice assist, I should say, for Chance. Short-handed goal, too. Patrick Hornquist, isn't 
he like soup is that it's probably not Patrick Hornquist. The problem is this game has just so bad when it comes to um what you call it to picking names like name generating that it just sits there and will just make up the same names. They're an assistant, which is pretty cool. I don't think that's a penalty at all. But whatever, I mean, ugh. Up here in Minnesota. With my really bad Minnesota accent. I don't even think it's a Minnesota accent. I think it's just me thinking what I think a Minnesota accent is. But whatever. We got this. I mean, it's been sl it's a slow burn right now. We are just, why did I play a preseason game? It is so slow, guys. All right, let's hop back out here. Oh, come on. That's not a penalty. That's not a penalty. Uh, see, it's a charge now, too. The dude had the puck when we hit him. How can you get the shot? For 96. Oh, that's gross. I don't like 96. That reminds you of the Leprechaun. Oh, I'm glad my uh, really bad Minnesota accent reminds you of the really bad Leprechaun movies. There you go, that's a big hit. Oh, it hurts my throat now that I'm like, thinking about it. I'm just like, sitting here, it's like, oh, my throat hurts. But the funny thing about the Leprechaun movies is that they were gonna have, um, they wanted to have Lucky Charms in them. Um, the reason I know this is I'm like a film major and I like I know I, I know dumb film things like this. So they they contacted um Kellogg's, right? Kellogg's is Lucky Charms. That's who that's who Lucky Charms' owner is, Kellogg's. Um that's besides the point. So they contacted the Kellogg's because that's the one I actually know. No, they're General Mills, aren't they? Either one. They either contacted Kellogg's or General Mills. And they said, hey, we had this movie for the Leprechaun, and, um, he's a Leprechaun, duh. So we want Lucky Charms to be in there, because Lucky is a Leprechaun. And they're like, okay, sure, send us, you can use our, our cereal, but before you release the movie, I, I want you to, um, we want you to send us, um, a copy of the scene in particular that has our product in it. Uh, they sent the copy of the scene, were so repulsed by what they saw that they um, not only told them they weren't allowed to use um, the Lucky Charms brand in the in the movie, it had like annoyed the director so much. I think it was like super last minute. To, like, it was like a week before release date, they said no that what they did they reshot the scene um and then just made like a super like really bad rip off like i'm talking like it makes like the dollar store rip offs look like high quality rip offs of lucky charms and they more or less just put like a hand drawn lucky on top of the lucky charms box and they changed the slogan to like take a direct shot at um Kellogg's the general is General Mills, yeah. They changed the uh, the caption to make a direct shot at General Mills for like them saying that he can't they, they can't use the box as a product um like in the movie. So yeah, that's my one leprechaun the movie fact. <laughs> I think there's two of them. I think somehow the second one is a lot worse than the first, because they were both really bad. Yeah, I think the plot line for that movie is a leprechaun doesn't like St. Patrick's Day and he terrorizes a town and steals all the gold. Tell me how you're supposed to do with that. It is so bad. I mean, both of them. Both of them are pretty bad. The second one is just is like just that much worse for some reason. Like, for no reason is the second one worse. Like, that much worse than... Did someone steal his gold in the movie? I don't know. Someone might have stolen his gold in the movie. I haven't seen the Leprechaun movies in probably, like, eight years. So, and I never actually watched them. I only saw, like, bits and pieces of them on, like, the sci-fi channel. Like, during, like, their monster movie weeks they would have. So, even then, I would n I've never really watched them. 
as like general like oh, i want to watch a good piece of film i want to watch the leprechaun said no one ever so there was that Ooh, come on oh that's unfortunate chance no chance what are you doing come on Oh, dude, Chance, you're too nice. Look at that. Ugh. Just dive. Sam, you've never... Oh, yeah, I don't think anyone's actually generally watched the Leprechaun movies. Unless they were, like, scrolling through the channels and it was, like, on a channel. Like, what movie is this? The Leprechaun? No. I think it's The Leprechaun 2, The Returns? No. Oh boy, the Leprechaun, what a grand horrible movie it is. Like, there's been a ton of bad movies. Like, there's a movie, I forget what it's called, but the plot of it is, like, Santa Claus was, um, was, like, a demon. And he, he was, like, the demon of, like, taking things. So, he was, um, he was captured, and his, like, curse put on him was that he had to, um, deliver presents. You had to be nice to people for like 30,000 years or what. I think it's like 10,000 years. So he had to deliver presents. Like that was like his punishment for being bad. And then um... The number 53 like you're just stuck on me like glue bro. Get off me. But uh... The 10,000 years were up and it's Christmas time. You look back on like a murderous rampage. So yeah, that uh, that also happened. That's also like, another one of those really bad, like leprechaun quality sci-fi movies. But this one was with Santa Claus. Dude, what a what a grand time is just thinking about really bad sci-fi movies, like sci-fi horror movies, like the worst because they're just so bad and they're hilarious for being just so bad. Dude, I don't know. Like, frankly, I just have not a clue, frankly, like, what people think about when they make some of these movies. Like, The Snowman. Like, it's just a movie about people being attacked by snowmen. And they become snowmen, because, like, their bodies just get covered by snow. Dude, I know these are, like... I know these are, like, uh... AHL guys or like OHL guys behind the net, but like, like, like how, how, like, what is, like, what are these goalies doing? Oh, Bacchus, dude. Horvat. Is that Bo Horvat? Do they somehow get Bo Horvat? Nice. That's what you like to see. Good old goal scoring right there. Absolutely love it. Alright, come on. Bisha comes up over the 24. Capo Kako. Capo Kako scores a goal right there. Absolutely love it, dude. Dude, it's strange to see Capo Kako not in a Rangers uniform. Alrighty then. Let's, uh, let's keep this party going. Ooh. Oh, that's unfortunate. Six, you're being a pain. The only thing we're on fire, I think the golden is just that bad, frankly. I'm like, I'm listening to like, I don't know. Come on. Oh, there we go. Push it up, push it up, push it up. Skirt. Oh, back. There's Capo Kaka with the goal. Oh, that's nice of the game. Just get back, skate it over to Capo. Capo's gonna go top shelf on stick side, and we're gonna get the goal right there. Go back to Bishop. Bishop. Ooh, cuts the right. Over it. Nope. Gonna get off the skate. Kasha. Is that David or is that um his brother? Andre? I'm not sure how to say his brother's actual name. No, he's not. Clark, dude, number six just got wrecked. Boop, boop. Oh, too nice. Number 25, brother. You are 
cracking it up. Have I seen the scary movie movies? Uh, are we talking the scary movie movies? I get those confused all the time with the. Is the scary movie movies the one where it's um, it's like eight of them, and they take a bunch of things from other um, what you call it? Say other the other movies. Like the one has uh, Charlie Sheen in it and all. Hmm. That's a goal right there. Big time offensive. Put out. Hmm. Not great. For the other team at least. Alright. Where is that? Alright. Stream's looking fine now. Stream just went down for like... 30 seconds, which is wild. Alright, um... I hope I didn't lose everyone. Alright, come on, push it up. Bishop's got Dolphin in there. Come on, there we go, we got this. Stop. Pretty wild. Uh, oh, that's unfortunate. Come on, Tennell. Oh boy, that's unfortunate. Oh, there we go. Oh, I hate that. I hate this game. Oof. I understand why. Why is the AI thing? Why is he got a duck's helmet on? Or, yeah, duck's mask on. Like, we got duck's mask on, brother. You're playing for the for the stars. I, um... Ah, uh, this game. What should I call it? What am I thinking? What am I trying to go for? Why does the AI in this game play so dumb? Like... Like, why do they just run into goalies? Like, that's my real question. Like, I never figure out why they just, like, decide they want to run into goalies. Dude. Stick side. Too nice. Alright, Chance Bishop. We got this, baby. Come on, brother. We're up 13 to 1. I guess it's still a preseason game, so. Doesn't really mean much. Just because the goal is like 48 overall. Dude, like, he just does not have any stats whatsoever. Dude, do try. Dude, I mean, that's a merciful end right there, too. Uh, that game, that was a blow and a half. Oh, man. Poor. Poor, poor, uh, whatchamacallit. Whatever team just. Dude, that team did not deserve the win. That was a that was a slaughter right there. I don't understand why uh, why they would even think it was close with Dallas. Dallas did not even show up to that game. But Bishop five and five right there, dude. You love to see it right there. Bishop just big timed it. I mean, get a 48 overall goal. It doesn't really mean much. It's um, four strum right there, goal on four assists, and Capo Caco two and two. But. That seems super fun right there. Let's get, take a look at how this team looks like now. Be back in like three seconds. Here we are looking at the Lions for this team going into the season. We have Rafael Tosakis. Okay, 84 overall. Sven Forstrom is an 89. Capocaco is up to an 88. Uh, Andre Kasha is 34 years of age. And in uh, 34 at 84. Clayton Keller is an 86 overall. Justice... Burnbridge is um, 82. Sven Ledin is 83. Riley Grieg or Greg or Grieg, uh, Grieg or Greg, however say his name, is 83 overall. JT Miller is um, 82 at 37. Ernest Guerrero is 79 at 24. 
Dominic Bach is 79 at 30 years of age, and Nicholas Jacobs is 81 at 27. Take a look at the defense. We have Johnny Womick at 86 overall at 21. Dude's a stud. Jalen Lowe is 80 overall at 24. Chance Bishop, 32 years of age. Didn't realize Chance was that old. 32 years of age, 98 overall. Hampus Lindholm over years, 36. He's an 80. Connor Madsen's 24 and is 79. And Matthew Dandenot. All right, dude, dude's uh, 79. Goalies, we have Ilka Pekalukinen at 31. He's 88. And Gordon Clark, uh, backup is weak at 63 overall, 20 years of age. Scratch. Vincent Bouchard is 80. Isaac Marshall at 79. And Mark Shifley at 82 overall. I guess he's 37, but he's still 82 overall. Gotta, gotta start him, guys. But if you guys did enjoy this episode, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you guys missed any episode, should post down below. And until next time, YouTube, peace out, rock on, and stay super classy, I guess.